I created the following video for Quicken Essentials, but it applies equally to Quicken 2015 as well. The only difference is now under the Preference menu, there is a Connected Services tab, and there you can change the password for your Intuit ID from within the program, and you can also update the Intuit ID associated with this file. Updating or changing a password in Quicken Essentials can be sometimes confusing. First thing I'm going to do is pull up the Account Status window. You can either click on the status icon here or go up to the window menu and choose account status. And if you notice, there's a pull down menu here. And if you click on that, you'll see your various financial institutions and the different accounts that you have held at each different bank. Now the first layer of confusion stems from the question, are you trying to update your passwords or are you trying to change your passwords? Direct Connect actually allow a user to try to change their password from within Quicken. If you notice I just pulled up this Chase Financial Institution and it's asking for my current password and it allows me to enter a new password. The ability to change your password within Quicken only applies to direct connect connectivity and it really depends on your bank as well. Quicken may offer you the option to change this password but your bank may reject it. You can try change your password from within Quicken but I suggest you actually just go to the bank's financial website and try to change it there. That may be easier and you know the results. More importantly, you need to realize that where these passwords are actually being stored. By default, Direct Connect accounts keep their passwords stored in the Mac OS system keychain. You can elect to turn that option off and then you just have to manually enter your password each time you do an update. So if you have a Direct Connect account and you just want to update your password, go over to Applications, go over to the Utilities folder, and launch Keychain Access. If you notice, you'll have several different listings for each account. You have a few different options here. The easiest way is, let's say I know this Chase account that I was using as an example before. If I just want to update that password, I could right-click on it and choose Delete. That way, the next time I go to update my accounts, Quicken Essentials is going to prompt for that password and it'll store a new keychain item. Alternatively, I could just double click on this and I can go through and see all the different keychain item information and I can click on show password and I'll be asked for my credentials and if I allow my system to show this, it'll actually display the password and I can choose to save changes. Either way, if you just want to delete it and re-enter it, or if you want to change it within the keychain, it's up to you. Return to the account status window. If you've got accounts that connect via Quick and Connect, that's a system where the passwords are stored remotely on another server, and the Quick and Connect servers log in as you at off hours. The only way to update passwords for Quick and Connect is within Quicken. You have to click on the Update Passwords pull down, and I'm just going to choose PayPal as an example here. And here, you're given the opportunity to update your credentials. A few final things even though Quick and Connect does store your passwords off site on their servers, you will still have a keychain item for the Quick and ID Manager. This is kind of like the Open Sesame that allows you to use the Quick and Connect system. Also, if you move your data file over to another machine, do not be alarmed if you move your data file over and when you start to download transactions that you're prompted for your IDs for different accounts. The reason being is that your keychain on your new Mac does not have these entries. Simply enter them and they'll be recorded and you won't have to enter them in the future.